Hello everyone, making a video about this adorable silver pedestal beaker. So what we have here is something that I picked up at a local antique shop quite a few months ago now. Um, and I bought it because I just thought that it was one of the most beautiful silver drinking vessels that I had ever seen. And it's also the first piece of Imperial Russian silver that I have ever bought. So a bit of background about this. This, like I said, is a pedestal beaker. That means that it has a pedestal and it is a beaker. Uh, a beaker as opposed to a mug. A mug has a handle, a beaker does not. This has no handle, it never did, so it's a beaker. Uh, you can call it a cup if you want to, but uh, most people would call it a beaker. And so, like I said, this was made in Imperial Russia, in Moscow, in about 1850-1855, thereabouts. And it is a beautiful piece of Russian silver. It's all hand engraved, as you can see, all the way around, uh, with some beautiful patterning. The engraving is not the best quality. There's a few areas where you know, the lines run into each other and stuff like that. So I think this is probably like an apprentice piece or something. But regardless, it is of amazing quality. There is not a single thing wrong with this. There's no dents, cracks, anything. And I just had to have it. Like most pieces of... European silverware. It comes with hallmarks and that's what you can see here. These are all the hallmarks. This is the assay mark with the year and the assay master. Um, there's also the mark for Moscow on here and there is the purity mark on here as well. So that tells you the level of silver and it's, it's just a gorgeous little cup. Um, it's not that big, it's maybe four inches high, if that, and you know, three and a half, four inches high. Um, it's gilded, or gold-plated, on the inside. So that means that um, a mixture of mercury and gold was applied to the inside of the cup. It was then heated, the mercury evaporates, and the gold adheres to the silver. Uh, it's a very old, very primitive form of gold plating. Uh, it's also very dangerous because it is extremely poisonous. Mercury uh, causes brain damage, uh, which is why they don't do it anymore. And then this is the base. You can see uh, more, more uh, hallmarks down the bottom. Uh, there and there. And then, like I said, the other ones up here along the rim. As far as collectible pieces of silver go, uh, this is one of the most favorite pieces that I've added to my collection. I don't think I will ever sell this unless I find something which really, um, really outclasses it. And I don't think I will. Uh, at least not for a long time, anyway. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share this amazing little uh, Imperial Russian silver gilt interior chalice from about 1850-1855. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to uh, learn more, then please visit my blog and you can see all the stuff that I collect and write about. The link is in the description below. Please feel free to leave comments, uh, ratings, all that kind of stuff. Happy to answer questions, whatever you have. 
thanks for watching.